Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeet! Holy moly, dude, look at this place. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, ouchie. Dude, I just saw a nest. I think I just saw a nest. Dude, there's an egg right there. We should just grab it and get No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah. Hide, oh, no. hide, 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 hide. Oh, hide, 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 hide. Yo, yo, it's Robo, guys. Welcome back for a brand new video and a brand new episode of Minecraft Dragons, a new beginning. And myself and Jack uh, made ourselves a little... Uh, yeah, we, we made a little bunker here from yesterday, guys. And, um, yeah, we've been waiting to start the new episode, but we think there is um, yeah, some troll people things out here. And I suppose... Uh, Oh, wow. Well. Yep, yep. Oh. There's a lot of loads. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, Yeah, you just said go take them out. So, Jack, let's just do it. I mean, we don't have our good swords with us, but we've got the okay ones. Okay. Hey. Okay, they're, they're, they're strong. They, oh. These guys are strong. They Ow. are strong, dude. Whoa, okay. What are these, like, forest oh. trolls or something? They're crazy. I think they're jungle... Yeah, they're jungle trolls. Oh, Ow. dude. Okay, I took out another one. This is good nice. Good job, good job. You're Whoa, ice in the fire. Ice in the fire. Yeah, you... Yeah. Yeah, nice, dude. It, it oh, no, really... there's one more. There's one more. There's one more. There okay, really you got it. is a good combination when I hit it with the ice, then you hit it with the fire, or else you hit it with the ice. I mean, the fire, and then I hit it with the ice. Okay, wait. Dude, there's another one over here. Holy... Oh. There's two more. There's two him, more. Oh, okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm right behind do you, you. Do you think they're protecting this egg, dude? Whoa! Ugh. I think that these guys actually steal eggs from nests and oh, things like that. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, so they're not actually protecting it. They just got here at the same time as us. But yeah, um, Theo said that it was protected by beasts, and I'm pretty m sure that this is what he was talking about. Okay. I think that's yeah, it. Yeah, must have been. Okay, is that it? Are you sure? Whew. Okay, guys. Now that we've dealt with that little problem, it has given us a little bit of time. But this is the place that we found yesterday. Theo gave us the map. and He basically drew it up. We came into the new world. And we basically found this underneath a lake. It's like a whole other world underneath the real world. I mean, Jack, this is crazy. We need to explore this place, like, big time. Yeah, so the whole... This guy's... The last time we were here, we found, I think it was Disco Rave, and who else did we find? Yeah, I mean, we found Phoenix as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we found Phoenix. That's crazy. So we haven't actually properly explored this map, or sorry, world. this world, because of what's been going on in our own world with Phoenix and Finley. Oh, dude. So what I'm kind of hoping is, is that we can find more of our old dragons, the likes of yeah, Deadstrike. Yeah, I mean, and... if this is where they came, they should be still here, right? Unless, of course, they were... Take, taken out or, or died. Um, like, yeah, I mean, it, like we weren't looking like, after them, but they they could have looked after themselves. I mean, they are epic dragons. They they're able to fish. They're like they're able to farm up food, so they could have survived on their own. Like think about it, Ruppo. Who would take on a diamond bewildered beast mm. along with a sound bewildered beast? I don't like beats and dimax. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I, I wouldn't even be crazy enough to do that. Exactly. That's okay, why. Well. Of the next couple of weeks, I think we're gonna spend more time in this world trying Ooh. to search for. Our other old, dragons or other species dragons. of dragons yes oh, nice okay dude with that place under there is crazy i can't get over it. it's like a forest underneath the world and it it was super crazy but guys check it out we have found our very own red death egg um and it seems pretty magical down there so i'm wondering is this guy going to be kind of like the same as the ones that um that felix has or is it going to be like different or, or, or you know what i mean i mean is it going to have some sort of a like a magical power or is it going to look different is it going to be a different color i i want to just get home and, and hatch this thing as soon as possible jack oh yeah i can't wait i mean like what could possibly go wrong with a new baby dragon we just gotta feed it up tame it straight away and then he'll be fine right well, 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 well hold your horses because um you're saying what could possibly go wrong a lot of things could possibly go wrong because jack we know absolutely nothing about red deaths we pretty much didn't know they existed till yesterday so i mean we've a lot to learn we could hatch this thing and it could just like basically eat one of us we know nothing about this thing do you remember i i, I doubt that very much though i mean no, whoa, whoa, Rubble, whoa, whoa, whoa. we're fearless hold on, leaders hold on hold on hold on okay so okay. we watched felix hatch his in a secret lab because he needed to learn how to tame it because if he didn't tame it something bad was going to happen so therefore we could hatch this thing and it could literally turn on us and eat us so i think i have a point here possibly but i have an idea what's your idea 
we could totally talk to um, Myron or Harry and find out what they know because they're smarter than us because they've been around these dragons. Yeah, okay. I do agree that they are smarter than us, but at the same time, this dragon is from this new world, so they probably know nothing about it, man. I mean, all right, let's just get back to the portal, like get back home with this thing, talk to the guys, see if anyone knows anything about it, but... I've got to be honest, I don't think I want to hatch this thing straight away. I think we, we've we got a bit of research to be doing. Okay, but first, before we do anything, uh huh. do you want to watch this cute sunset together? No, I don't want to watch a cute sunset together. I want to get out of here, dude, and get back to the portal. Come on! Oh, uh, no. Cute sunset. <laughs> Alright guys, we are back and uh, we have got out of those armored clothes that we had. So yeah, we could give them back to Johnny and Jimmy, but uh, Jack, we do need to talk to some people about this red death dragon. I mean, we could hatch this thing and it could eat everyone and that would not be good. So, who first? Um, let's go talk to Myron. Mm, okay, see well, what he knows. he's usually up in the meeting room, but I'm just going to have a little fly around just in case he's not... Um, Phoenix never hangs out up on his nest anymore. He must be like... Oh, right. found him. Ooh, where, where? Uh, oh, Harry's. by Harry's. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, sweet. Uh, Myron, what's happening, dude? What's going down? Okay, he says, Hello, man. You guys really took a risk by knocking those ministry guys out. If you had been anyone else, they would have been banished from these aisles. Yeah, but it's us, so... <laughs> But you guys have the magical touch where everything seems to just come together. Hey, you can say that again. So tell me, what did you guys find on your latest exploration? Well, Myron, funny you should say because we're coming in hot with news, bro. We have got this. Should I put it down, Jack, for, for like a cin 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 cinematic yeah. effect? Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out, bro. It's a red death dragon egg. He says a red death? Oh my goodness, guys. I only ever read about them. I have no idea what they even look like. Um, yeah, we, we kind of do because um, we saw them because Felix, so it's a whole big thing. Felix, I'm so still them. Yeah, they're kind of gray and they're gigantic. I mean, when they come out as a baby, they're probably about 10 times the size of one of us. So, yeah, pretty crazy. And um, he says, when are you guys planning on hatching it? I'm excited to see what this dragon looks like. This is epic news for our nation. Yeah, we were going to hatch it pretty much straight away, but we don't really know anything about it. So, to be honest... No, we're, we're, I decided. No, what? We're hatching it right now, because even he doesn't know anything about it. So, we all got to see what it looks like. Mm, I don't know, because I'm a little bit scurred at this thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, he Pretty says, nice. today, this is going to be awesome. I cannot wait. Go, get hatching this dragon. Uh, Myron, I like your optimism, and I like the fact that you're super excited, but I still don't know enough about this to hatch it, so... Jack, I'm sorry. I'm not hatching this thing until we find out some concrete, solid information. Where's Harry? Oh, okay. Um, throw me the egg for a second. I just want to show something to you with regards to the egg. Yeah, toss it here. You honestly think I'm that dumb? Just, just toss it. You're gonna right run here. straight down to the incubation place and 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 hatch it. Why are you being sensible? Because, dude, we don't know anything about... Ow. Okay, wh where are you going? Is this where Harry is, by the way? Because we're, we're trying to find Harry because he probably might know something about it. So... Uh, oh, yeah. Harry is down here. Let's go. You're just trying to make me go He's down to the incubation. Oh. Oh, he is down there. <laughs> oh, oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right, sweet. Let's go. Uh, incubation station in the Dragon Dome. Harry, my man. What's going down, brother? He says, so, the rumors are true. You guys actually got a red death egg. Oh, we sure did, my brother man. Pop, check that out. Isn't it? Oh, wait, actually, I'm taking this up before Jack can grab it. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> yeah, dude, we got one. It's pretty sick, but we pretty much know nothing about it. He says, my father wants to speak to you guys before you begin incubating the dragon. Okay, well, well maybe he knows something. About um, I'm not sure. He just said to make sure I got the message to you guys. Okay, he's up in his dwellings. I think you guys should go up and speak to him. Ooh, okay, so he obviously knows that we've got this thing, and he obviously wants us to talk to him before we hatch this thing because it's probably dangerous. See, Jack, I'm always right, bro. And right now, everybody's falling asleep. What? What do you mean they're falling asleep? Oh, okay. They're waiting on us to hatch the egg. We will hatch the egg when it is safe to do so. It is safe to do so now. You're just listening to everybody else instead of your co-leader. I actually know it's a 50-50 choice. I vote yes. 
I'd devote yes. I'd devote yes. <laughs> well, I'd devote no, bro. Okay? Oh, Look, I just let like us talk to devote, Sammy. Though. He's going to tell us what's up. All right. Sammy, my man, check this out. Look what we got. And I know you're about to tell me something about this thing. Hello, man. You haven't incubated the red debt yet, have you? No, we're waiting to see what you say, Sammy. He said, good. As you know, word travels fast here. Theo did more research on the red debts and sent someone here with the information he uncovered on them. These dragons, well, well spit it out, Sammy, come on. They are fierce. I'll let Theo, Theo's guy, I should say, tell you more. He is upstairs in the potion library waiting on you guys. Oh, okay, pretty cool. Um, his name is... Am Ia Trujulio. Amea Trujulio. Amea Trujulio. Amea Trujulio. I feel like that is Spanish or something. Is it Julio? I think it's. I think it's Indian. Okay, well that was way off. Anyway, he is part of the Inferno Nation community. Oh, another guy from the comments. Sweet. Go speak to him. All right, deadly. This is awesome. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Where is he? Hey, oh, what's? <laughs> Look at his dude. He looks like a sheep. <laughs> oh. What? Yeah. Oh man, that is so cool. Hey, that outfit. Hey bro, what's happening? So, you are from the Inferno Nation community. You commented below and you've got some info for us, right? He says, hello guys, my name is... Amea Churio. Amea Churio. Yeah, like, like, like Cheerio or Churio? No, not like Chorizo. Mm. True he ho. True he yo. Okay bro, don't hate me because I'm dumb and I can't pronounce things. Okay, it's not my fault. Anyway, uh, I am a member of the Inferno Nation community. Theo sent me here with some information on the red debts he suspects you found in the new world. I can pass on this intel. Of course you can, dude. Fire away. What you got for us? That dragon is a red debt. It's part of the Stalker class. Okay. The red debt is the second biggest dragon ever next to the biggest dragon, the Bewilderbeast. All right, nice. The red debt is referred to as an alpha dragon similar to the Bewilderbeast. All right, well, we kind of kind of knew this kind of information. Okay, give us, something, give us something better, bro. The Red Debt can control the smaller-minded dragons such as Gronkle, Zippelbacks, Monstrous Nightmares, Deadly Natters, and even Night Furies. Oh, okay, control? that's... Control? Control, that's crazy. When they are fully grown, they eat other dragons. Um, excuse, excuse me? Uh, when can we get? they are fully grown, they eat other dragons. Oh, well. You definitely got that wrong. This is not good. Uh, they have fireproof skin and they are not the best flyers. Okay. Um, they kill off the other baby red deaths so they are the only, can be the only one. What? So when they hatch, they kill their brothers and sisters? These things are, That's just... these things are evil. <laughs> Oh my no, god. No, that can't be right. You're reading that wrong. I'm not reading it wrong. Did, did, he's telling me this is what he's saying. When they are fully grown, they eat other dragons, they have fireproof skin, and they kill off other baby red deaths, so they will be the only one. He wanted you to know all this information before you went ahead with the hatching the egg. He said you guys needed to know everything. So, if you do choose to hatch the dragon, you must isolate it until it's fully tamed or trained and trained. Otherwise, it's bye bye all other dragons. Holy moly. Okay, thanks so much for the information, dude. He said, okay, guys, that's all I know. I must return return to Theo. Goodbye, Ropo and Jack. Dude, thank you so much. Thanks for commenting down below, and uh, thanks for giving us that information from Theo. Okay, Jack, I knew this thing was crazy. I knew it was big. I knew it was dangerous, but I did not know that it was a dragon-killing, brother-and-sister-eating, absolute maniac. Shit, that's insane. And it could control other dragons, including Night Furies? Okay, okay, let's like, see. Like, a Night Fury is an alpha dragon, right? Yeah, but let's think about this, okay? Um, we kind of need this thing. Because if Felix and his uncle, Thomas, have two of these things, we're going to need at least one. True. But then again, do we really want to take this risk? I mean, you've taken some risks in the past, Rope, and they've absolutely not paid off. Well, think about it, dude. If we get this thing... <coughs> you, you okay? I've got an itchy trick. Is it getting it to you? Okay. Ooh, that's what we could do. We could lock off that place a bit better, and we could grow him over there really quickly. But the only thing is, I've only got 10 dra dragon treats left, so we need like 100 to level him up. Dude, all right, come on. Let's get down to the hatching area. I feel like we should start the incubation process... 
when he spawns down here, he this base might be just big enough to hold him. Um, right, let's get rid of this yeah. incubation and just. Use I got another one. idea. I got another idea. What? What is it? What is it? Okay. Um. I mean, I think you we should hatch him down an here. You picked up an incubator. An incubator. Okay. Yeah. Right. What if we place that in that area up there, and actually mm -hmm. hatch him up there? We could do that, but we'll have to like close it off. Ah! Ah! Ouch, 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 ouch. Get okay. into the water, you dum dum. Okay, no, actually, I was kind of thinking that as well, but maybe you're right. Maybe let's just hatch him here now, and then we can transport him up to the other place when you build it up a little bit, make it more secure, put a roof on it, put more iron bars, make it super secure. We can leave him there as a level one baby, and then we can try, like, I don't know, like, get him going and hatch him up, like, super fast. And then we can tame them super fast, level them up, and then we'll be able to control them. Or we tame, we level them up super fast, end up not taming them, and he goes around and eats other other giants. Well, that's just the risk we're gonna have to take, Jacqueline. Okay, I'm not down with that, but yeah, suppose we have a choice, right? We, we are down, Harry, bro. We're gonna need some space, dude. All right, let's get this incubation started. Ooh, it has started. I don't know if it's taking lava or water, but it's, guys, uh, this it's should lava. take it. Oh, okay, we might need some more lava, Jack. Harry, out of here, Jack. To be honest with you, you should probably bounce out too. Stay on the outside. Oh, what? You're going to be the superhero today? I'm always the superhero. Days, Jack. Look at this thing. That that's not like a normal red death. That uh, that's crazy looking. Yeah, I know, Rubble. I've never ever seen anything like any other dragon with that design. I, have we just found a complete new breed, a I, complete new species? I don't know. Well, we did find him in like a magical forest, dude. He doesn't seem to be attacking. I mean, he is only a brand new baby, so he probably doesn't know what's going on. I'm gonna try feed him. Um. Okay, here you go, bud. Yep. You want some? Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, okay. 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 He's eating. Okay, well, he's eating, which is a good thing, dude. He's not eating me, which is an even better thing. You know what? Okay, I'm just going to toss him a few more of these uh, little beef thingies here. And, uh, yeah, I think I should bounce out, Jack. Uh, he's going to literally outgrow in there in probably a day. So I do think we should go ahead and do what we were going to say, or do what we said we were going to do. Go up and, like, build up that area up there and make it super secure. And then if we can level him up and tame him... Hopefully he won't eat all our dragons. Yeah, I cannot believe that guy. Oh um, I mean, but we do have to keep we have to keep him in complete isolation, Rubble. I, I mean, I definitely we can't so. take any chances with this. No, dude, look at his tail. Like, look at that smasher rock. He can smash through anything with that. Yep, and he could probably smash anybody's heads into. Yeah, um, well, that's what I'm kind of worried about. Okay, so, dude, check this out. Oh, you've kind of got a little bit of work done already. That is awesome. So, we're going to go over here, guys. Going to give this place um, a little bit of a re-kind of jig and get it reinforced to get it super strong. Plus, Jack, we're probably going to have to have a roof. Although, the, the dude that was helping us out said that they're not the best flyers. So, what do you think? Roof or no roof? Roof. Mm -hmm. Maybe no roof. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta decide. Like I'm panicking, Robo. I need time when I'm building. Yeah, that is true. Okay, well, I, I think maybe roof just to be certain because if this thing gets out and starts eating our dragons, we have a serious problem. But guys, we are gonna leave it there for today. We have in fact got ourselves a brand new red death. Seems like some sort of a magical forest red death, which is pretty sick. So hit us up in the comments below what you think we should name that guy. And um, yeah, should we try tame it or should we get rid of it? I don't know. It's super scary dragon. Um, we don't know much about it. So if you guys have any other information and more information, hit us up. Maybe you will be in tomorrow's video. But guys, for now, for myself and Jack, we're going to get working on this thing behind us. And tomorrow, hopefully, we can level up this guy and get him tamed. But for now, we are out. Peace!